you know, I'm just, you know, figuring this out. 2022 is the year of sequels. Top Gun Maverick, amazing, awesome, superb. Sorry about that. Uh, Freaking awesome. A Christmas Story Christmas, well, Hocus Pocus 2. Eh. But now, this is my first of two reviews that I have coming out. This one's about A Christmas Story Christmas, and the next one's gonna be about Disenchanted. I'll just say this right now for both of them, both were fantastic. They actually, really good sequels. And that, well, A Christmas Story Christmas, it's different from Disenchanted, because with Christmas Story Christmas, similar to Top Gun Maverick, you knew this one was gonna have nostalgia in it, but it was gonna be a very small part of this original story that they've set up. This movie's all about Ralphie, you know, making it the best Christmas ever. And so, basically, his father dies, he goes back home with his wife and son and daughter to go stay with his mom, and basically he's on a mission to make it the best Christmas ever, but at the same time, you know, he's a writer and trying to get his first, you know, kind of famous work done, and it's not really successful. And he's starting to doubt himself a little bit, and he's trying to keep that stuff away from his mom from knowing, like, oh yeah, I'm a successful writer and all that. But then going back home brings back all the memories, you know, seeing all the pictures of his dad and, like, then going to the attic and finding the top part of the lamp and, you know, just all this other great stuff from the original movie that we all love and adore. And then similar things are happening, like, happening in the original one, like, oh, there are bullies there, they're bothering their kids, and then they eventually deal with it. And then um, just people that we recognize, like, his best friends, and then the guy who was the bully in the original is actually a cop in this one, which is so funny. Uh, the lady who played the mom in this one, who plays Ralphie's mom, she was so funny. And then, of course, the wife was really funny. The kids were great. Honestly, everyone, the whole cast was FNAF, was phenomenal. I don't know why I said that. Someone's stuck in my throat. They were phenomenal. Like, my gosh. Just everybody. And then, you know, new characters and all that. Just, ah, uh, it, it, it's one of those movies like Top Gun Maverick that makes you feel so good inside. And just keeps reminding you why we love the original film. And why we're going to love this movie. I mean, the comedy was fantastic. The, the writing was really good. The directing. All the acting. Everything. Just the nostalgia feel. And, you know, in the end, there's a happy ending. In the end. He, uh... You know, he's supposed to write his, obit his dad's obituary. But ends up writing a story instead. His wife gets it published in the newspaper. And then all of a sudden, he gets that phone call he's been waiting for. And they say, we want more stories. And that's where his career is really going to start taking off. And it was just beautiful. And it was awesome seeing the original younger brother in the, sh in the movie, too. Very small part, but really great. Um, again, I just, I love this movie. It was so good. And I'm going to be watching this many more times. You know, maybe a couple times, a couple more times this month. And then all throughout December, I'm going to be watching that a lot, along with the original. So, yeah. Yeah. Similar Top Gun Maverick, Christmas Story Christmas. Big thumbs up. And uh, that's going to do it for me, everyone. I hope you all go watch the movie. And if you have, let me know what you thought about it down below. And uh, I'll see you in my next review, which will be about Disenchanted. See you then.